What's going on, family? It's your boy, Bugsy Smooth. Welcome back to another video. So if you're not up to date with the latest Me Too episode, the saga continues. This time it's Cuban Gooding Jr. Um, last week, a woman in a New York City nightclub accused Cuba Gooding Jr. of groping her breasts. Um, so she gave a new allegation of sexual assault on Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, TMZ put out a footage. Um, TMZ stay on top of the game. TMZ, I'm convinced they come out with the news before the news even take place. It's like them dudes is sidekick. They knew Cuba Gooding Jr. The minute he even stepped foot in the nightclub, they're like, all right, news time. We know what's about to happen. Like them dudes can tell the future type stuff. Like, uh. <laughs> anyway, so the footage shows, right? Now, this is where it gets weird, right? So, so the woman accuses Cuba Gooding Jr. of groping her breast. She says he sexually assaulted her in the nightclub, right? She's victimized, all that stuff. So I go and watch the footage. I'm like, yo, you know, first off, I thought Cuba Gooding Jr. was married this whole time. I thought dude was married with a whole family, living a, a low-key life, Oscar-winning actor, classic actor, Boys in the Hood, um, Radio, uh, you know, Jerry Maguire. You know, Cuba Gooding Jr. got a catalog on him. You understand me? That's a classic actor right there. And, and you never hear anything about him in the news, like nothing negative. You always see him. He looks like a very friendly dude. Like, he don't even look like a type of guy that'd be out here just groping chicks and just you know, just stealing vagina, like, nah, he don't even look like the type of guy to do some stuff like that, but nonetheless, um, I go and watch the footage, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, okay, this is weird, the footage shows Cuba Gooding Jr. sitting next to his girlfriend in the club, the woman, who's his accuser, comes up and sits next to the girlfriend, now, Cuba did touch her thigh, but I'm looking at the footage and I don't see where the sexual assault occurred. Like, how is that sexual assault right there? Like, wh where did he grope her up and feel her, you know, feel all up on her and stuff? Like, wh where was that at? I didn't see that. And I think that's weird is when somebody touches you, right? See, look, here's the thing. I know women personally who've been sexually assaulted and, you know, just in general, a woman who just don't want to be touched by a certain dude or just be touched at all, you just see an unconscious, just, you know, get away from me, you know, just brushes your hand off, tosses you off, moves around, like, does something to get you out the way, like, they don't feel, just to show you they don't feel comfortable with you touching them, this woman didn't do none of that in that footage, at all, and then allegedly she followed him around the club after the alleged incident took place. Like the whole thing sounds weird as hell. It sounds very weird, very odd. Um, so, you know, he was arrested last week, um, and he maintains his innocence. He denies the allegations, um, but he will have his day in court. But today, an article was released. Um, so there is a woman. Um, she's a blogger, um, a social media star. Her name is Claudia Oshry. Um, I believe I probably said her name, her last name all the way wrong, but pardon me. Um, so she has a podcast. Um, what's the podcast called? Um, I forget what the name of the podcast. Oh, yeah, there we go. The Morning Toast. The Morning Toast podcast. Um, so last week she had an episode where she talks about how Cuban Gooding Jr. sexually assaulted her when she was 16 years old. So... This is what she says, right? This, and I quote, she said, at the end of the day, like, I don't know if I've ever considered myself to be like a victim of sexual assault because I'm not. But yes, when I was in high school, I was effing 16 years old. Cuba Gooding Jr. put his finger up my butt and I felt wild. Bruh. Okay, so so this woman, um, Claudia, is accusing Cuban Gooding Jr., Allegedly, when she was 16 years old, he put a finger in her butthole. Okay. So, you know, you know what's funny with these Me Too episodes, man? It takes one woman to come out, and then you see just a domino effect. A whole lot of other women come out. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it's just one woman come out, say Cuba Gooding Jr. groped him, and it's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to say this too, Okay. Um, I'm gonna make two points here, and this is something that we've all been thinking. We're gonna keep it if we keep it at all the way a hundred right now, because that's what I do. We being honest right now, right? 
why is it that it feels like they're trying to get all the classic black actors out the way in Hollywood? Any single well-known black actor in Hollywood is like they're trying to get him out the paint. You notice that? They really trying to get him up out of here. Shout out to Idris Elba. He married him a, a Somali queen right now, so he Gucci. But if you out here, you can't be a Hollywood bad boy. You can't be Leonardo DiCaprio and you black. You just can't be in Hollywood. I, I, I don't know. Let me let, let me know in the comment sections if y'all noticing the trend here. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm noticing the trend. And it seems that these women that come out and accuse these men of these things, they have a common theme. They're all looking for the bag and they all get found to be lying to some degree. Ezekiel Elliott, his case, the woman came out, it's discovered that she was lying, she was trying to get a bag. Um, which brings me to my next point, okay? If it's discovered that this woman is lying, this woman that's accusing Cuba Gooding Jr. of groping her in the club, which the footage doesn't look like he did any of that, that she is accusing him of. Um, if it turns out that she's lying, okay? This woman needs to go to jail. There there needs to be an example made out of these women, man, who are putting false allegations on these men. Okay, trying to get a bag, trying to get a quick come up on these on these celebrities. These women need to get put in jail and do the same amount of time that the that if Cuba would have done if he would have been found guilty of this crime. So, if he was on trial for rape, or sexual assault, and he was going to go do, for example, five years in prison, the woman who lied on him should do two more years after that. I don't know, seven years. I, if it was up to me, I'd put 10 to 15 years minimum. You, you may think that's excessive, but I think it's excessive to lie on a man. Lying, because there's so many victims of rape and sexual assault that are running. There's a lot of women out here living with trauma from being raped, being sexually assaulted when they were young, dealing with a whole lot of demons, you know what I'm saying? It's, come on, man. It's making it hard for the real victims out here. That these women coming out here playing with people's lives like that. Then, on top of that, we live in the era where you're guilty until proven innocent. You understand? So, people automatically just put a guilty jacket on you, even if you're found innocent of a crime. The Central Park Five case. Donald Trump's still running around talking about them dudes is guilty. They should be sentenced to death. I mean, it's like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... These women running around, you know, blatantly lying, trying to get a bag and nothing happens to them. No consequences. These 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 women get a slap on the wrist. Pardon me. Let me be real here. These white women getting slaps on the wrist for lying on brothers. OK, this woman comes out and, and I'm, you know, and, you know, I sound like I'm already just, you know, I don't sound as objective here. I know I don't. It's like I'm automatically just like leaning towards the side that Cuba is innocent. But I'm keeping it 100. I think he's innocent. I don't think he did this stuff. I don't think he sexually assaulted that woman. I think this is just a quick setup for a bag. And that's what I think it is. I think he's being set up. And, um, you know, these women are trying to get the bag. And um, this ain't nothing new under the sun. Now, I do believe that these sick dudes that are in Hollywood, like Harvey Weinstein and... Um, was a dude from the House of Cards and the Usual Suspects, uh, Kevin Spacey. These sick dudes, yeah, go to jail. These dudes need to go to prison. But um, because I believe some of the stuff that these dudes, these dudes did some of that stuff. They did it. You did it. Okay, whatever they accused you of, you did it, bro. <laughs> but Cuba, I don't believe it. I don't believe you. You need more people. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm and I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Um. Cuba ain't, ain't do none of that stuff. But hey, they might have some unwhelming evidence on Cuba that 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 points to that that he did it. I'm just gonna be thinking objectively here. But you know what? Let me just call it down the middle. Could be guilty, could be not. But one thing I'm gonna say, that's for sure. This story sounds fishy as hell. It sounds all over the place. It sounds like some stuff that was made on the fly. Okay. Um so that, that that's the thing, man, about this whole Me Too stuff that's going on. Um, it's And another thing, it's whack being a celebrity now. It really is. There was a time period being a celebrity was the top of the game. It was it was lit, okay? You can make a lot of money. You're famous. All the girls want you. All the guys respect you. Now, camera's all in your face. You can't get a private... You can't even get a private dinner. With, and you got women calling you from 20 years ago talking about, hey... Remember, you touched me, you hugged me on my shoulder 
Well, I'm going to say you grope my breast and you touch my thighs and you try to go up in my butthole. Send me $50,000. <laughs> That's it. Back in the day, you sleep with a woman, you, you toss her $20,000 to shut up. Now, it, nah, she going to court on you and getting a bag. And this stuff needs to stop, man. It, it, the game is all messed up. But anyway, man, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, let's discuss it in the comments. Leave your comments, leave your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Peace.